Okay, so let's get into the part two of the solo. So we're gonna have this one and a half step bend on the 12th fret of this B string. So it's an extra wide bend. It's trying to get to the sound of the 15th fret. So you do that twice. You're going 12 to a little 10. And then we're gonna go. Once again, that's a note from that F sharp where it's kind of modulating at that point. So we got. Then we're gonna come down to the 11th fret to 9th fret on the G. To the 7 also. And then D string, 9 to 8, and a little 6. Okay, one more time, kind of slow. And this course, this is a very common. So you definitely want to know about this little bluesy phrase. And you use this middle finger as a pivot kind of note to get you back into places that feel more comfortable. So once again, we got. Now we're gonna come to this 12th fret in the little string. So we got that bend up there, but we keep going and we slowly start bending it down. That was like a great Stevie Ray trick too. And he probably got it, you know, from these guys and many other blues artists like Buddy Guy and stuff, but. So it ends with. bluesy slidey things. Ten. So one more time through the solo. Okay, then we're gonna have this new phrase. So this is gonna be a bend up here. Seven to nine, we bend to nine. And then we start in the little string, seven, seven, ten, nine, seven, seven. It's like one of those exercises. So that's why we practice these exercises, because sometimes you put them right in a solo and it's excellent. So what he's doing here. So seven, seven, ten, nine, seven, seven, nine, nine, seven. And then it's gonna go to the other string. So that's going to end with, which is basically just in the lower octave, exactly. So the only thing that you do that deviates from that pattern of kind of like skipping, like almost the thirds thing, but in pentatonic. Once you get to that 9-7 right there, you're going to go to the other 9-7. So that breaks the sequence. Then you go to that lower thing. So let's look at this whole thing again. So we got... Seven, ten on the second, nine and seven on the G. Then we're gonna go seven to nine, seven, eight, seven on the second, six, seven, nine is gonna finish that one up. So. triads thing so we got 10 7 and 7 five times then we're going to go to this other shape 9 6 and 7 that's an F sharp shape this was a B minor shape so that last set it's going to be two sets and then the third set's highest note the third set's last note is a high note 
to the 14, and then we're going to have 9 and 5s, 5 times, and then 7, 4, and 5. The last one goes up to a 12. Then we have 7, 3, 3, 5, 2, and 3. Ends on a 10, and then we have 3 open, open. 6, 2, 2. This one ends on a 9. So one more time, we got 10 and 7. Then we got 9, 6, and 7. Up to 14. Then we got 9, 5, 5. That's an A. And here's the E, 7, 4, and 5. Up to an E note. Then we got a G, 7, 3, 3. 5, 2, and 3, D, up to a D note. Then we got F sharp major, 6, 2, 2, up to the 9 right there. Now the harmony of this is going to be 14 to 10 to 12. That's a B minor also. So 5 of those, then we're going to go 12 to 9 to 11 up to the 18th fret. So one more time, we got 14, 10, and 12. 12, 9, and 11, up to 18. And then we have a 12, 9, and 10, it's an A. And then we've got this kind of an E7, up to the 16th fret. And then we got 10, 7, and 8, it's a G. And then I believe this one stays kind of more on a D major than going down to a D7. And that's the three of D, the F sharp. So that one was 10, 5, and 7. 10, 7, 12. And then we're going to have E minor five times, 7, 3, and 5. And then 9, 6, and 7 is the F sharp. Up to the 12th fret there. So let's look at those two things again. Two, three, eh. Hotel California. Hope you dug that. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.